in August of 97. We finished the tour earlier that summer, and there was a message to call the office. It was urgent. One of the girls from our office told me what had happened. Neil's daughter was in a terrible car accident, lost her life. I mean, it was just such a horrible shock. It was, I mean, I still feel it today. It was the start of a whole lot of emotions that we'd never felt before. I have not, uh, had not had a friend who'd gone through anything like this. Ray called me and told me about the accident. And uh, I was just in shock as everyone was. You're just so unprepared for how devastating it is. Um, and you just don't know what to do or how to help or, or, or any of that. He could be such a private guy. And when news like this hits, you don't want to do the wrong thing. You don't want to try to comfort them and find out that you're only just comforting yourself. It, everything to do with the band ended at that moment. It, it just didn't seem important. It's, it was not something you even thought about thinking about. They didn't really know what to do with themselves, so they left Toronto. They got away from all those reminders. And then Jackie got sick. After she passed away, he was uh, lost. And so he ran, he got on his motorcycle and ran. When his wife died, he had to do what he needed to do to, to just find some kind of peace. He embarked on a long, very, very painful journey, just going and going and going and going. so worried about me and in fact there was a network I know among my friends and loved ones oh I heard from him today I, you know I got a postcard or he called you know that they would all to reassure each other because yeah anything could have happened to me even by accident let alone by design fuck we were so worried about him uh, I just but he you know he was at arm's length Neil needed time but to be honest I had no real interest in music for about a year I, I hardly played hardly listen to music we we were on sabbatical we were shut down basically we were talking about a journey that stretched fifty-five thousand miles starting from quebec and going up to the arctic and around alaska and all mexico across all of mexico from baja across the whole mexican mainland down to belize i go to small towns and the back roads generally stopping for the night in hotels along the way and um, i don't think in that whole fifty-five thousand miles I don't know if I was ever recognized once in a little town in a gas station or a motel or a diner because I'm just a guy sitting there with a hat on reading the book, you know? A lot of times I can just slip around and be a guy. That's all I want from traveling, too. I just want to be a guy, and that's life enough for me. Mm -hmm.